Hey, what you guys are about to see are clips taken from a full hour session with the King of Knees himself, Diesel Noy Chor Tanasukarn. In this session, it's a little bit unique in that he's teaching Karo, who is very tall. So you get to see Diesel Noy's entire system of how to fight tall using a student who is very tall. I'm in this video as well. I'm helping translate and clarify things. So I hope you enjoy the session. Definitely check out the full hour. You can do so as a patron. Check out the link in the description below and enjoy learning from the greatest knee fighter who ever lived. And then once he gets behind the neck, he wrenches down. But it's not like continuous pressure everywhere. It's like pop, pop. It's like very hard. So, very, very important for Muay Cao fighters. Push-ups, pull-ups, strong arms, strong legs, strong core. Mm -hmm. So if you if you find if you face someone who's not as strong as you, it's easy to wrench the head down. So, so watch his feet, how he steps out as he's pulling you. Look at the width of his stance so as he does that. As he's turning, you don't want to like tangle yourself. You want to pull the entire thing, and it's kind of like an, a rudder on a ship. So this is, this is where you target your knees. So he's saying to go after the floating rib, the bottom that hurt. rib. <laughs> So from your hip, your hip the power is driving hip. the knee in. เพราะว่าเราเคาะตึนเต้นแล้วก็เพ่งเข่าบายแบบนี้เพราะว่ามันคอนโทรลนี่ so you have to focus on controlling your legs and your power to know where your knees are going to go. When you fight and your knees are like going all over the place, it's because you're not focusing on the leg direction. It's like how punches go like this if you don't pull from the core. Solnoy climbs out of the ring and puts his hand where he wants Caro to be targeting and wants her knee to basically be like uppercutting, slamming into it. He wants to feel the pop of the power going up. Mm. So he wants he wants to feel the power of it actually like coming up into the hand like it should be like the way you would like uppercut something so he wants the knee to like pop into the hand. <laughs> He's gonna slap. He's about to slap Caro for not using the proper part of her knee. She's actually so hitting at the top. Don't get of the top of the knee. Try to get. You use your hip in order to actually get yeah. the bottom of the so knee. So like cap. the very front of the knee. So Caro, send. If you make your hip go like this, then you'll get the front of the knee. If you're just marching up and down, you're getting the top of your knee. But if you throw your hip. So he wants your, he wants your knees, the knees to cross, cross your own your body. body. So your right one is still hitting kind of the top. This is an interesting thing about um, if you're right-handed or left-handed, is that because the standing leg is so important, your weak side might actually be better because the standing leg is your strong side. Hurting his hands a little bit. 
If you try to go high from this far away, it doesn't go anywhere. So you have to go long. <laughs> it's acting like he's going to smack her. Control your hands. Look at his guard. Look how long. Yeah. Yeah. Burn, go, go the same side over and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So see how when crew guy tried to counter her with his right cross, it turned his so body. What you and by turning here, his body, that opened right for Kara's right side. Right side. <laughs> Look how first, happy right? he is. So you go here, but then when you're going to bring your right, this one goes here and this one goes here. Like you did over, over here. You like. Stay closer. That guy means close. So even though Caro is so tall, even though Diesel Noy is so tall, as a Muay Cow fighter, you stay close all the time. <laughs> he, <doesn't like> <laughs> he hates this mushiness. <laughs> Do you see the difference? Look at the difference in his like, like you um, the, the attitude and body posture. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you can hear that those teeps are impacting through crew guy's uh, belly pad now. <laughs> so he's saying to you, watch the opponent, right? So if you teep them and he's strong and he doesn't go backwards, then you can kick. If you teep and he goes, if he goes backwards, you have to follow. If you teep and he doesn't go anywhere, you can so if you bring your weapons so see out how first, because he's too far away, he's, e he's easy to counter. That's why you counter. want the opponent to go first. <laughs> if you're tall he's saying, and moi cow, you're slow. It's just the way of the world. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking so about the, the limitations of his body frame. A lot of people dismissed that he was just so tall, that's why he was able to um, take advantage of people. He's explaining the limitations of his body frame, which is Caro's body frame. You know they're going to strike. He's um, taxing himself and talking a lot, <laughs> so he's having a hard time breathing. Hey, so those are just clips taken from the full hour session of Diesel Noy, teaching his style, his system, his technique. He is, to me, the GOAT, the greatest ever. If you want to see the full hour, which I highly recommend, check out the link in the description below. You can see that as a patron. And while you're there, we have 90 hours of long form training sessions of the legends, crews, Muay Thai of Thailand. There's so much there. You almost can't see it all. Just be patient and you can. There's also tons of content to check out, and we're always coming up with new stuff to put in there. Uh, articles, photography, interviews, and podcasts. Uh, check out the link in the description below, and thank you. Enjoy.